Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss another example for the factor theorem. Given x minus k is a factor. So when we, we notice that x minus k is a factor, meaning that the remainder will be equals to 0 when we substitute the value k. So determine the value of k. So for this situation, we are going to use the strategy trial and error. Okay, try and error. So meaning that we are going to substitute the value, any value, into the function. So for example, p1. So if we substitute p equals to 1, we will have 2 plus 1 minus 13 plus 6. So p1 will be equals to negative we will have a negative 4 so which is not equal to 0 so meaning that x minus 1 is not a factor so now we are going to try another value which is equals to 2 okay so when we substitute the value equals to 2 so we will have 2 multiply with 8 plus 4 multiply and minus with 26 plus 6 so we will have 20 minus 26 plus 6 so finally we will have equals to 0 meaning that when we substitute the value 2 into the function and our remainder is equals to 0 so from here we can say that x minus 2 is a factor of px so now we can compare x minus k is a factor so from here k will be equals to 2 so this is the strategy that we are going to use that is trial and error in order to find the factor so here we are and thanks for watching